that's precisely why they get away with it because no one wants to talk about it. Everyone wants to look the other way. And that was my experience. I see photos of you as a young child and at those ages, and you're so innocent. And if I can stand up and say, this happened to me and I'm moving beyond it and there are people up there who need to be answerable for what they've done, then maybe other people can too. Of all of the lines actress Madeline West has delivered, these are the hardest. <sighs> Alongside friend and former detective Gary Jubelin, the Neighbours and Underbelly star confides, for the first time, she was a victim of child sexual assault. Not many people actually are, are brave enough to talk about it or comfortable really enough hard. to talk and about it. And you worry that people, um, will see you as somehow deficit or um, you do, you carry a lot of scar tissue. The abuse began when she was under the age of 10. I see photos of you as a young child and at those ages and you're so innocent. The thing I find disturbing looking back at that is how little I was. Yeah. You know, how small we all were. She was just five when a man first molested her. The abuse lasted five years. I knew from the beginning that it wasn't right and everyone didn't, does. And didn't that's feel the, right. And I think that that's what's so concerning when people keep insisting on looking away. You're told that you are at fault, that that you in somehow, you some way, you enjoy it, you pull it who, who, who tells you that? Who tells the you? The perpetrator. That? Right, so they, they put that in your mind, yeah. that you're, you're to blame. Yeah. You encourage it. Her cries for help were ignored. When this was happening to you and you put your hand up and you didn't get help, how did, how did that feel to you? Made me feel that I didn't have any value, that my perception of what was right and wrong was somehow skewed. A child can never consent. Yeah. Mm. The child can't consent. She kept it all to herself, the baggage, the trauma, and the shame. Part of the reason I, I went into acting was to wear someone else's skin, yeah, to yeah. hide what was actually happening in my life. Until one day five years ago, when she walked into a police station. It's really scary, but mm. you're taken seriously. Yeah. It's acknowledged that yeah. this is a genuine crime that has real repercussions. The repercussions for the now mother of six were cleansing. I feel well, like I've come full circle. Yeah. It's, um, it was necessary. Empowering? Very, very empowering. She now wants to empower others. If I can stand up and say, this happened to me and I'm moving beyond it and there are people up there who need to be answerable for what they've done, then maybe other people can too.